I'm Alan Williams and I'm reporting from New York City with the 30th installment of Shia Weekly News. In Pakistan, on August 29th, two separate incidents led to the deaths of two Shia men in the Pakistani city of Karachi. Sayed Amir Shah and Aftab Ahmed were both separately driving through the city of Karachi when militants pulled alongside them and shot into their vehicles. The two men sustained critical wounds at the scene and were pronounced dead later at the hospital. Later, on September 5th, Riaz Alvi, a recent convert to Shia Islam, was shot and killed alongside his brother after receiving death threats from militants in the Khyber province. In Iraq, on August 31st, ISIS released a video showing them burning alive four Shia fighters. The Shia fighters, believed to be a part of the pro-government popular mobilization forces, were shown bound in chains before being set ablaze. In other events in Iraq, nearly daily bombings and shootings have left, nearly score, have left scores dead and many more injured. Shia Rights Watch calls on the immediate cessation of hostilities and the investigation into all crimes against Shia Muslims. In Afghanistan, Militants killed 13 Hazara men after stopping two buses that they were traveling on. Reports show that the militants stopped the buses, ordered all the men off, lined them up, and proceeded to shoot them. Shia Rights Watch calls on the Afghan government to do all it can to investigate this crime and all other crimes against Hazara Shia in the country. For more information on these events, <clears throat> And for the other, uh, and for all other events that occur against Shia Muslims, please visit our website at www.shiarightswatch.org or follow us on social media. Also, to read our most recent report on anti-Shiism in August, please visit our website at www.shiarightswatch.org. Thank you.